Spaniel Mix Garmin is a danger to himself. So usually he charges uh, at cars and tries to bite them or, or chase them. Uh, and Elaine thinks, it's funny, but I don't. I'm scared about it. Oh, Garmin is showing typical chase behavior. And mostly it's a dog that's very stimulated by moving objects, such as joggers, bicycles, cars. I mean, he has Spaniel in him, so he's a natural hunter. And he has a high chase instinct. This is all a little crazy, isn't it? It is, to be honest. Uh, so how do you feel with all of this stuff going on? To be honest, I feel very overwhelmed. Because lately, I had to do it all on my own, because uh, Elaine didn't do what I expected from her to do, helping with walking the dog, so. OK. OK, let's go. Let's go. Garmin saw the neighbor's dog through the window and he did not stop barking. And he barked and he barked and he barked and he barked. Wow. When our dog Ozzy runs out the backyard and goes to their fence barking, and then their dogs immediately hit that back window in their house and bark and they incessant barking. You know, it's like they're in a sports stadium, you know, rooting for opposite teams and it's just relentless. I've been in that house for one day and the barking is driving me crazy. What must it be like to live with that 24-7? Shh. Shh. No bark. Okay, now no release bark. him again. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go to Garmin. Garmin is your baby. Believe me, chasing after joggers, cyclists and cars, even though it might look funny, is not. Dog has a high chase instinct. I've seen a lot of dogs with that chase instinct that have suddenly got run over. Yeah. Elaine, Frank is overwhelmed. You have an equal responsibility when it comes to looking after the well being of these dogs, whether you feel like it or not, because these dogs depend on you for everything and you need to give it. You need to stop walking again. Next, she turns her attention to their six year old spaniel mix, Garmin. Ooh. Garmin has a high chase instinct, so I thought it was appropriate to teach him leave it. So he learns impulse control. I'm not giving him the treat until he stops biting or licking at the treat. Good boy. Just like training Rex, Victoria is catching Garmin's behavior. Good boy. Now make it harder, now he's getting it. Leave it. Uh-oh. Leave it. Garmin starts to get the hang of it, so Victoria hands over the reins. Now, you're never going to give him this, the treat that's in your right hand. You only give him the treat that's in your left hand. OK. Because when you ask him to leave something, he's never allowed to have it. Put it on the floor and say an uh-oh if he goes for it. Uh-oh. Tell him to leave it as you put it on the ground. Leave it. Good boy. Lovely, beautiful. I thought it was really cool to see Garmin doing the Leave It training. He really caught on. We're ready for the next phase of training. Go out into your driveway, and I'm going to introduce him to a bike and a jogger. Moving objects could prove harder for Garmin to resist. Leave it. <laughs> oh, your dogs are so reactive. I, you know, this just illustrates how training was so essential right from the very beginning. We are trying to change a habit of a lifetime. Oh, he's a good boy. Just go past Stacy. Oh, no. Good boy. When I'm kneeling, he has the food right here. When I'm standing up, it's different. OK. All right. Leave it. Good boy. Now I'm going to try and not have the leash used as a crutch, because I want him to make his own decision. Leave it. Good boy. I'd like you to do this. Tell him to leave it now. Leave it. Good boy. Why? Very good. OK. Leave it. Good boy. Yes. 
With Garmin doing well with the bicycle, Victoria decides to throw a jogger into the mix. Now he's going to go. He's going to go. Did you see yeah. that? Yeah. You could see him looking. His ears went I up. I saw him. All right. See it? Now he's got, he's got the focus. Come he's in. got the focus. Stop. Stop the focus. There you go. Sit, 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 sit. Wait up, dap, dap, dap. It's not sit, 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 okay. sit. Only say it once. <laughs> Leave it. That's difficult. <laughs> it is difficult. Frank needs a bit of confidence with his training. He had a little bit of difficulty, you know, observing Garmin and, and trying to find out, you know, when, when was the right time to say leave it, when was the right time to do the treat. Back again, please. Leave it. Good. As soon as he sees the object that he wants to chase, you tell him to leave it, and then you put that food right in front of his mouth, because I don't think he's still to the point where he's going to respond just to a leave it without food being right in front of his face. Victoria has something for Garmin that will make things a little easier for Frank and Elaine. This harness, which connects up here, tightens if the dog pulls and uh, makes the dog feel like its legs are just slightly being lifted. It doesn't hurt them at all. It takes pressure off Garmin's neck. He has a, a very delicate neck. And when he lunges like that, and I hear him choking, and then he goes, <laughs> his eyes go red. That's another sign of choking, which is why it's so important with him to put a, a, a good harness on him. After you get his chasing instinct up, under control, then you can teach him how to walk well on a leash just with a regular leash and collar. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it training with Garmin does little to impress Victoria. Leave it. Leave it. Come on, guys. That's not the way I showed you. Leave it. Leave it. This is confusing. Say the command once. And out on the street, yeah. Garmin's confusion is all too apparent. Garmin, leave it. Leave it. Leave it, Garmin. Leave it. Garmin, let's go. Leave it. Garmin, leave it. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go. definitely have some more work to be done here. There are some things that we need to work on, mm -hmm. and your communication is one of them. I think you're doing things a little differently, and that's going to be very confusing for the dogs. Yeah. Can you get me a glass of water? Absolutely. Can you get me a glass of water? Can you get me a glass of water? Can you get me a glass of water? Do you know a reason why I'm saying that? Uh, always saying the same. Always in... No. No? It's the way that you were teaching, you were doing leave it. Leave it, 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 leave it. What you're effectively teaching your dog is that it doesn't have to leave it the first time you say. When you're using commands with your dog, you say it once. If they don't, the reward goes away. Then you repeat it, okay? But don't make it harder. I got it, and I know Elaine got it, too. It's great that Garmin is no longer chasing after cars. There's still a lot for Frank and Elaine to do, but they are definitely heading in the right direction.